Driving at night can be difficult, particularly for older drivers along unfamiliar roads. But if they can't read the warning and regulatory signs along those roads, nighttime driving can also be dangerous. So the federal government is now requiring local governments to make sure their signs are readable at night with normal headlights. They determine readability by measuring the sign's reflectance. That requirement will eventually apply to all types of signs. By 2012, every local government will have to have a management plan. By 2015, every ground-mounted regulatory and warning sign will need to comply. And by 2018, every overhead and street name sign will also have to be tested. And if a sign doesn't pass, it'll have to be replaced. So how do you test them? There's a unit called a retro-reflectometer. It can measure a sign's nighttime reflectivity at any time, day or night. In Butler County, one of these $10,000 meters is owned by the Butler County Council of Governments and shared by its 32 members. Cranberry maintains and circulates the unit. Crew leader Dan Cristolano of the Township's Public Works Department is responsible for its use and upkeep. This meter is a pretty sophisticated unit, but it's really easy to use. Let me show you. The first thing you should know is that it comes in a case that includes everything you'll ever need. So right from the outset, let's take a look what's inside. This, of course, is the meter itself. It weighs about four pounds and looks like an overgrown radar gun. It comes with a fully charged battery that you put in the bottom of the unit. You should carry a written logbook with you just to take notes about the signs you're shooting because the meter does not do that. This is what I call my cheat sheet, which is a very quick summary of how to use the meter. There's also the manufacturer's instruction manual. But you probably won't need it. Here's the federal government's cheat sheet, which tells you how to interpret the numbers the meter comes up with. Okay, so let's go out into the field. Here's all you have to do. First, you turn on the meter and push its front depression tab up against the sign so that there's no stray light that gets in then squeeze the trigger. If you've positioned it right, you'll hear a beep. If you don't hear the beep, you need to reposition it and try it again. I generally take three readings per sign. The meter automatically averages them together, which results in a more accurate reading. The meter is actually doing two things when you take a shot. First, it measures the sign's reflectance. That's the number you see on the display. It actually includes two readings, one for an angle of a car another for the angle of a taller vehicle like a truck. The other thing it does is to record the sign's exact location. It has a little GPS unit inside and that information automatically gets tagged to its reflective readings. Okay, so what's a typical reading? Well, there isn't one. It all depends on the sign's color, materials, age, and condition. The government cheat sheet I showed you gives you a range of the scores you can expect depending on those specifics. But you also need to use common sense. These signs, for example, have a very high reflective reading. The problem is, you can't tell what they say. So they're gonna have to be replaced. Okay, you've gone out and collected all your readings. Now what? You need to save them. That's because we clear out the memory before we prep it for the next user. Here's how to save them. There's a program you can download at this address from the Cranberry Township website or from the manufacturer. Once the program's installed in the computer, use the USB cable to connect it to the meter, click Upload, and Save. And here's what it looks like on the screen. That's really all there is to it. It's easy to use, it only takes one person to operate, it will help you comply with the federal standards. It can even stand up in court in case someone tries to blame an accident on your signs. So put it to work for your community, and good luck.